Boy well, we knew it was a best of three still. Uh, very important because that, that definitely changes the way that you can uh, you think about the you th set. You think about the set. Because lo losing game one in a, in a best of five isn't as detrimental as losing it in, in the best, a best of three. three. Yeah. Best of three, you lose counter pick matchup for that game three and it can definitely hurt. Uh, I, uh, definitely seems to be a button check here. Yeah, it looks yeah. like a button check. Be unfortunate because I know that Tinker did a set where he had my controls and he went throughout all of game one. I don't know if he won that game or not. Oh, who had that? Uh, Tinker had my controls. Oh, so that's fun. Yeah, that, that's something that uh, people have been less keen on like checking is that they have the correct controls. Uh, I was at a local when I was back in Louisiana, yeah, and a dude didn't know this. He put special stick instead of tilt stick, and, and we got like almost midway through a game. We tried to pause him, like, "Sorry, sorry, we like, can fix it after this game." The but same, I'm taking this W. <laughs> <laughs> same thing kind of happened with me because now that there's like an other settings thing for like smash, A B smash, yeah. tap jump. If you push B out of that sub menu, it doesn't, it doesn't save. save. It doesn't. I had that happen twice to me in a set. It was so dumb and so upsetting. There are definitely some really good UI UX things that they've done with this game, and then some that are questionable. Like one that I've heard people complain about is that you can't do X Y to switch colors. Yeah, I wish you could. Uh, but the reason they don't do that is because if you have the Echo Fighters overlapped, that's how you switch between the Echo Fighters. Really? Yeah. And then if you're a if you play Pokemon Trainer, that's how you switch. Which Pokemon you start with at the start of a game? They should have just made that for L and R, since those are character-specific things instead of affecting the whole cast. Oh. Anyways, let's just go into yeah. the game. Uh, um. So going Pokemon Stadium, which is basically the new Starterville, so Starter Stadium. Um, I'm honestly not sure about this matchup since there's so many characters in this game. But from what I've seen of uh Bestness so far today, is that he's still obviously showing his dominance in the Smash games. Yeah. Especially with Ness. Something I've noticed with uh, Yoshi's in this game is narrow the shield to punish anything that hits it. I mean, that was like in Smash Foil, so. Yeah. It just seems to be a lot, uh, a lot more effective in this game. Uh, it seems that Yoshi uh, is really good at punishing out of shield. I mean, frame three narrow does help. It really does. And it seems like Bestness kind of got more of Fox's melee shine a little bit and the, in a form of it. Ooh, nice grab. Yeah. Ooh, good egg. Uh, did that still jump? Okay, no. Yep. Oh, that was a nice air dodge to get back on stage, though. Ooh. Uh, it seems that uh, the Psy Magnet breaks egg and doesn't. Ooh. That killed off the top. Yeah. Back air has uh, some weird kill potential in this game. Weird vertical kill potential yep. or horizontal? Uh, it, it can kill horizontal if it hits all three, but it seems if you hit two, it'll send off the top. That's interesting. Some with multi hits in this game can send straight down or straight up. It's weird. Yeah, I mean Smash is just a weird game yeah. in general. Ooh, good up tilt trade. It was a really good up tilt tw tweed. <laughs> uh, children now. Up tilt in this game for Ness it seems to be a lot better than previously uh, for anti airing or uh, to continue a combo. Um, I mean it was a good combo move also in Smash Four because his up tilt was just a sim. Oh. Yep. Oh. It just has. Uh, that's also a good kill option if you are. Uh, Give it to me. It's probably for the door, dude. Sorry. It's also a good kill option if you do drag down up air into it, which is very useful. Uh, sorry about the the music. Someone was getting a phone call. Yeah, so sorry uh, about that. Ooh, Nair out of egg is a seems to be a really good thing to buffer. I think that's something people are gonna start doing a lot more. Nice out parry. Of, yeah. Um. So I think people start doing a lot more out of egg or ground is uh, is buffering a move to try and try to like combat so what the person's doing so that it's not just you try and get out and air dodge. Yeah, and it does seem like Banana Boy's using that quite a bit, but Spencer's seeing what's happening, so he goes for the grab, trying to punish with a PK flash, but misses. There's that uh, nair out of shield again that you were mentioning. He's going for that back air kill option again. It was a really nice up smash, and it really does seem like uh, PK Magnet kind of acts like a bit more of a fox shine in melee. Not quite, but pretty similar. Yeah, it, it has the potential, and that was a really strange parry. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen someone parry the the side magnet. I so. haven't seen that either. Shine or I almost said shine out of shield. 
Sniping with eggs. Dangerous. Uh, oh, and Spencer loves doing that. Yeah. She's using Pig at the Ooh. Nice up smash. Very good call out. Uh, Spencer doesn't seem happy about that. No. Yeah, Bestness really does like to use PK Thunder at the ledge. And it does, it's a really good tool. It's like, hey, get away from me so I can get back up. It's a really smart move. But if if it's red, then you can get punished, as you saw. Yeah. Uh, that's another character that can sort of invalidate PK Fire at certain times is Yoshi because of his Eggs. super armor. Oh, and armor, yeah. Um, armor when he's jumping. Yep. But even right there, it looked like he was able to get, he's able to jump out of it uh, just because... It'll pop him in the air and counters his double jump. Ooh, that's that was a nice tech. Yeah, that's something that uh, I've seen Bestness been doing on his stream, where he'll hit himself down into the ground, and it counts the same as bouncing off of a wall during a recovery, where he can just up you again, and it catches a lot of people off guard. That's really good, because that's like a, hey, I'm going to missile at yourself, but then I'm going to run away. That's a really good idea. Well, I'm going for the nice F tilt. Oh, Four there. Uh, this is turning into a last hit situation, Ooh, and that he was reads nice. the falling back air to get the first game. Very good by Banana Boy. Banana Boy. Uh, when is he going to be Banana Man? If he, win, if he wins this set, it might take him to that level, getting top eight winners. Yeah. Upset Ooh, the, he the one seed. Seem happy. No. Uh, Business is definitely someone who uh, shows his emotions a good bit. Yeah. But uh, I feel that he he's really good with it. Uh, what stage did they go? I missed it. But running it right back. Uh, Best Ness really enjoys this stage for, for Ness. Um, as he was saying on commentary, he thinks it's the most neutral stage in the game. Uh, and I don't, I don't know if anyone's played against Yoshi enough to know if there's a stage he does really bad on in this uh, Ooh. stage lift. That PSI magnet kind of like stopped his knockback, and then he was able to get one more up there. And there. That was actually a really smart idea. Yeah, and a really smart play coming from Best Ness. Getting him 100% within the first 30 seconds of the match. He is definitely showing that he was not happy with the way the last game ended. And, oh, the amount of horizontal movement you get off of uh, eggs now seems to be a lot more, even if it's not the first one. Yeah. Which is uh, very good for Yoshi, but can throw people off if they're used to Smash 4. Yeah. And that was a really nice kill coming from Bestness. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, that was. If that back air connected, that might have been an early stock yeah. for for Banana Boy to lose, and pretty much would have said we're going to a game three. Yeah. Like, but, hey, don't get cocky. Ooh, Ooh he, he tried. tried. And that. But he still Banana Boy misses the punish, which is really unfortunate to see. If I, if I had to guess, I would say that Banana Boy wasn't expecting him to, to be able to go towards him like that. Yeah, I don't think And he... drag down in the short hop back air. Nice fair, killing yep. him off the side. Best Ness is definitely trying to send a message for this game, saying that he shouldn't expect this to be an easy 2-0. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't think he heals from that. No, it just, uh, if it hits the hitbox. All right, I need to go play my match, okay. so I'm leaving you. Uh, so, as we saw right there, the, the side magnet uh, doesn't uh, heal anything for Ness from the, uh, the eggs. What it does is it breaks the egg because of the new hitbox on it. It'll break the egg so that Ness doesn't get knocked back from it. Okay. Which is uh, very interesting, and I feel that... It, uh, that definitely helps his kid a lot. Yeah. And he can do it against other characters. Uh, for example, against uh, Snake, it'll knock down Grenade and then just set him in front of him for him to hold the, uh, the magnet and heal. Yeah. Uh, right here, if, uh, if Banana Boy was to bring this back, it would be one of the best comebacks I've seen in any Smash game. But uh, well, a good back air uh, from Ness. Showing why he's the one seed. Yeah. Very sure. dominant game one or right. game two. Game there. two. Um, I I'd, can definitely tell after that first stock. I believe it definitely showed that message that no, I'm definitely winning this. Yeah, you're not he, to be owing me. He definitely showed that he that he thinks uh, that he is better, and that's something that I really like about Best Ness is uh, unlike 
some people in the Smash community who are afraid to say that they think they're the best at a character, or the best in their region. Yeah. Uh, he, he's very confident in himself, and I think that's why he shows his emotion is because he's upset whenever he doesn't perform to his standards. Yeah. And Battlefield for Game 3, uh, definitely think that this is uh, good for both of these characters because they have very good uh, vertical um, recovery, or not recovery, uh, combos with Ness up air in this game. Yep. I think it definitely helps the fact that it, Yoshi does benefit from Battlefield with the platforms and able to recover high and all that. But obviously, Ness also gets a lot of good momentum on Battlefield. So this is honestly a 50-50 at this point. Yeah. Uh, something that I'm not sure if this is new to this game, it seems that Yoshi up tilt goes through uh, Battlefield platforms. Um, not entirely sure. I believe it didn't. Not in, like I said, I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, oh, he went to, he went for the... He went for it. He went to send a message. A ate a good 30% for it, but... Uh, right now, Banana Boy showing a very solid um, Game 3 star, but obviously Best Ness is putting up all the pressure. Like, as I said... He, Banana Boy is, Ooh, like I said, Banana punish. Boy is using those platforms so he can recover. So he can avoid the He can avoid the, the all, thunders. yep, avoid all that pressure that Best Ness was pulling out in on, game two. On PS2. Yep. Uh, it definitely seems that uh, the Banana Boy is playing a lot more passive this game. Uh, seeing would, in game would, one and two, he, he, he would push advantage a lot more, and this, he's, he feels good to... Yeah. Get a few hits and then back away. Not going for a back throw, but good egg and getting a clean 39% off of it. Oh, good, good parry. parry. Gets the Great back punish. Throw. Yep, that was a really good parry. Um, I could be wrong, but it feels that uh, after you parry, getting a grab seems to be a little bit easier because uh, the move that they used is, is still out. It could be. So the hurt box is from it. And, oh, oh, he... Oh, you I can, can definitely see. see. I definitely saw that. Best Ness was really just. If I had to guess, he clinched up right there. Yeah, he did. That would have been really bad. Uh, that would give Banana Boy a huge lead. But we have a very close game right here. Best Ness has definitely brought this back. Uh, Ooh. That egg lay into uh, reverse up smash. up smash seems to be a solid 30 ish percent, which is kind of scary since that's at almost any percent and whiffs the neutral B there. But. Oh, but gets it there. Tries to get something out of it, but couldn't get it. A good grab. Still now keeping this... stage position. Um, good in air. Yeah, uh, sorry for finishing this one out. Alright. Uh, Ooh, the heavy armor, but heavy the armor. up air will finish it off. Banana Boy is on his last stock. Can he make a comeback out of this? I feel that best Ness right here is oh Ooh, good fair Very was able good. to two frame it just before he hit that ledge. Now it's even stock. That is one of the things that is definitely uh, detrimental to Ness and uh, even Lucas in all the Smash games. If they jump to ledge and they aren't below it, then they just sort of hover there for a second before they grab, which leaves them very vulnerable to punishes like that. Yep. Right now, right now best Ness is basically getting a dominant last stock here right now oh good escape oh. Ooh. he is very he's he feels very confident in doing that i feel uh someone of yep or uh even uh like yep who's a good ness i don't know if he'd be as confident in doing those sorts of things yeah uh, especially in a game three. Oh, is he gonna get the shield break whole oh, that is game Wow, Ooh, that Shield was... break to get the the game three win. 2-1 uh, for best Ness. A lot ah. closer than he would have liked, um, but really good. Uh, very good shield break. Uh, 